Good morning, Internet, and welcome back to Ratatouille. Today we're doing the pressure cooking mission, and it's going to be a ton of fun. And if you guys are new to the channel, then make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already. That way you'll be notified next time that we premiere an episode, and you can hang out with us in the live chat. Oh, yes. Hope you guys are excited. We're going to help Linguini cook because we're the best rat, and that's what we do with our lives. This game follows the story of the movie perfectly. There's nothing wrong with this game. There's not been any glitches or, or things that are weird. Eggs. It's Find been them. perfect. No. 10 out of 10, would rat again. Git needs an egg to make a souffle. Okay, find the egg and bring it to Git. Okay, Git is an interesting name. And then we have no the salad I needs vegetables and vegetables greens. And Get up onto the fast. roof of the store stove and let Emil know it's time to mix the salad. I mean, can't he just do that by himself? I guess not. The lobster, the lobster refuses to go in the pot. Help get with the ordinary lobster. Okay. Find the jar of saffron needed for the soup and take it to the soup area. Okay. All right, let's go. You got what, what, do I, what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? Uh huh. Okay. Right. Well, my okay, I understand. Here. And that's what matters. Find the ingredients you need for the soup. The lobster died, exploded. Oh my gosh. Okay then. We did it. Oh, we have to kill all these guys, okay? Of course, of course. Squish, 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 squish. And is squished. And now we take this. Why is the saffron so attractive? I don't know. I can't jump with it. So where do I bring it? Where do I bring it? Over here? Aha, okay, here we go. Set down, destroy these, not the saffron. Okay. Doing well. <laughs> and the saffron. Yes? Yes. Nope. There we go. Little rat! Oh my gosh! So cute! And... I don't know. I don't know. Okay, don't, don't really understand what that was all for, but okay. So now we have to get up. We need eggs for that souffle! We need eggs for the souffle. Time to get in. An egg. Okay. How many eggs? Just one egg? Don't. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> that is not the best way to crack an egg yet, but okay. Sounds good. And then we need one more thing. Right? Right? Where is it? It's over there. Okay. Let's get this because why not? Take that, thank you. Don't forget a meal. 
Tell him when to make the salad. I'll I'll tell him whenever. We're so good at this. We have completely mastered becoming a rat. We're so good. All right, Emil, it's time. Make the salad. He can't just shout across the room. Hey, Emil, make the salad by jumping into it. Hurry, finish the order and ring the bell. That's all we have to do. Just ring the bell. Where is it? Okay. Okay. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Come on. Get. Uh, I'm ringing. Oh, it's not one I am on top of, which would make sense because that's how those bells work. It. I slap it. Got it. You got out! That's not in the movie. He's so angry. Oh no, you're going to ruin the lobby? Oh no, Chef Skinner, how could you do this? It's so mean, it's so evil. You can't you can't ruin your restaurant. How dare you? Why why would you do this? Oh man. No wait. Wait a minute. Chef in the movie, Chef Skinner ate the food, and it wasn't until afterwards that they locked him up. Now I remember. Chef Skinner, you absolutely ruined the dining room. How dare you? <laughs> There's a lady on their table. There was absolutely no... the None of the customers saw a rat. Jeez. That would be... A great chef sure is an that would be so bad if the customer saw a rat. This is insane. This doesn't even make any sense in context of the movie. I like how it sometimes uses voices from the movie. Like that rat was the first time that he sees Remy. I'll get you. Oh, F. Well. F. Do we start all the way over or is this checkpoint? Oh, it's a it's checkpoint. Those blocks mean it's a new area. Okay, we didn't go too far. Sheesh. F. Being a great chef sure isn't easy. I jumped once. What are those blocks? Are they blocks of cheese? I can't tell what they are. The knives are actually trying to kill me, okay. Avoid the knives is. Why is there acid on the floor in the dining room? Get something to grab is is from the movie. Run! 
I do like this. It is honestly pretty creative. Ah. Sheesh. Being a great chef sure is an easy. All right, where does it put us? How far back? Okay, not that far. Okay. They moved the blocks over. No! Get it next what, the, time. what the heck? It happened so quickly. All right, well, now I have to expect it, I guess. All right, so right after the champagne, there's acid on the floor. I need to jump to the right so I can jump on a plate. Got it. Also, these tables are way too close to each other. Okay. It's coming up. Oh! What the- No! What the heck? Oh my gosh. I know why it happened so quickly, because I get onto the- What's that? The slippery surface that makes me go really fast, and I like- like sprint straight into the acid. That's the problem. Cheaters. I'm a good cook. I landed on it! Where does it think I landed? You guys saw me land on the plate. Where I, the shadow was on top of the plate. Where on earth does the game think I landed? Gotta be really careful. Well, at least I'm a good cook. That's bull crap! I landed right in the middle of the plate! Do I need to just jump over it because the game doesn't register it exists? Why? Why, game? Why are you broken? THQ! Heavy iron, why is this broken? Okay, I guess I just need to do like a really big double jump or something. Does it think I'm going too far over it and I need to be closer? Is that what's happening? Was that the one that I normally die on that I was able to jump on that time? Chef Skinner, 
is falling for a long time. I'm, I'm glad he regains his footing. Good for him. That wasn't that wasn't uh, close enough to do it. I wonder if this game will ever be generous, and if I die enough times, it gives me a closer checkpoint. Like Crash Bandicoot does. My guess is probably not. There's, there's probably no mercy in this game. Jesus Christ. Sheesh. Being a great chef sure isn't easy. Oh, is it because the Plates fall. Okay. I'll get you. This seems impressive. Dang it. Sheesh. Being a great chef sure isn't easy. Kratz and water don't mix. That's so not true. <laughs> That is literally a lie. I'll get you. F. This is the death of me. I'll get it next Ooh. time. That's hard. At least it's not bugging out and making me die at that plate every time now. Right? That's the one I was dying on that I'm now able to jump to for for no reason. I really haven't changed anything. I don't know why it's allowing me to do it now. Maybe it just stopped being bugged. It's like, oh hey. We know we're buggy, but it'd be it'd be funny if you actually completed this game, you know? Oh. Get it next time. Okay. Okay, the, the, it looks like they definitely do fall into the acid. <laughs> well, at least I'm a good cook. I wonder how rushed they were to make this game. I feel like the death animations... I don't know. Could have, could have done something. Alright, let's just focus on doing this. Otherwise, this, this episode's going to be like an hour. Ooh, okay, I made it. Don't F up. Or at least get to a checkpoint for the love of God. Okay, the blocks of cheese. Those are definitely blocks of cheese. 
So I'm assuming that's a checkpoint. Not for sure, though. Oh, gosh. No! What? Oh, I didn't die. Wow. That's amazing. Well, at least I'm a good cook. Okay. Please. 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 It is. Okay, that was a checkpoint. Thank God. Okay, I definitely have to jump on the plate because that's why they put it there, video game. Do you guys just see the knives fall from the ceiling? What the heck? I, I, I already forgot how absurd this part in the game is because it absolutely doesn't happen in the movie. So just one jump between the plates. I didn't know how many plates there were. This level is definitely in trial and error. It's basically Crash Bandicoot. Oh, we survived. Blocks of cheese, blocks of cheese, soon. Run! Uh, those block cheese on the table, there's some blocks of cheese. Okay, this is a checkpoint. Yay! No sound effects. At all. He dies? He dies in the game? He doesn't die in the movie! Well, little chef, it looks like Gusto's is ruined. So, with Gusto's closed down, the spirit of the place, the soul of great cooking, lives on at La Ratatouille. Because Linguini and I understand something that Skinner never will. It is something Gusto preached his whole life. Anyone can cook, but only the Yay. fearless. It'd be great. Aww. I did it! I did it! Yay! Congratulations, you won! Yay! That is totally not the story in the movie. Where is Ego? Ego isn't even in the game. Now what? That's it? Ego just isn't in the game? What are you loading? The credits? Is it actually loading the credits? What credits do you have to load? It is loading the credits. Good job, Heavy Iron Studios. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh gosh. It's over. It's all ogre now. Ratatouille. Art. Art! These are all the people that did art on the game. Nothing else was art. Oh, animation. Aha. Animation is not art, according to this credits. Audio. No audio is art. Localization. Not art. Quality assurance. Not art. QA testers. Not art. Nope. Art were, was just those people. Music is definitely not art. Music by Michael Giacchino, he's definitely not an artist. Uh, but the, conducted by, performed by the Hollywood Studio Symphony, nice. Very cool. All right, what would you guys give this game out of 10? Out of 10, this is absolutely below average, um, for sure. So, uh, the story is stupid. Um, <laughs> 
Viola. Who's who's Viola? Who's done everything? What? What? Oh no no no! Those. Got it. Those are the instruments they played. Got it. Really dumb. I'm dumb too. So. Uh... Yeah, a four would be slightly below average. I would say this is a lot below average. I would say the gameplay kind of makes up for it. So, I give this game a three. I still enjoyed it though, but I, I would have to give it a three. It doesn't make any sense. It is very broken. I wouldn't recommend this game. <laughs> but... That was Ratatouille. I still enjoyed it. It was it was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was my blind let's play. Yeah, th this is uh, one of the few Pixar games I've not ever played before. So, but I'm glad that I got to do it on PlayStation 5 via their cloud streaming service. So that's dope. That's dope. I wonder if this game is still on that service when this premieres. But oh well. It was when I recorded it, and that's all that matters. You could buy it on PlayStation 3 for a really expensive price. So, I figured I, I might as well just you do it on PS5. Uh, I wonder how much of this game is going to be copyrighted on YouTube. Probably a lot. Probably a lot of it for its music. Pixar director Brad Bird! Yeah, hell yeah! Brad Bird is my favorite director. Is this the credits for... For the movie? No. Really? I'm very confused. Did Brad Bird work on the game? Why wouldn't they just follow the same story as the movie? It doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> yeah, what would you guys what would you guys give it out of ten? You can write in the comments or the live chat. Out of ten, what would you give Ratatouille? I give it a three. And by the way, just because a game has a low rating doesn't mean you can't enjoy it, if that makes sense. I enjoyed it because I love Pixar, but I think if you didn't, you would lose your mind. Alright, that's it. That's it. Are you like to return the title screen? I, I guess so. I guess so. Let's let's go back. There we go. Nobody said right. this would be easy. Ratatouille, everybody. Sweet. Alright, so hope you guys enjoyed. So, in order to see uh Wally. Go ahead and click in the top right corner there. And then to see cars, go ahead and click in the top left corner here. But that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you very much. And until next time, later days.